The full It's Chapter 2 trailer debuted July 18th, 2019 at San Diego Comic-Con, promising a thrilling conclusion to director Andy Muschietti's adaptation of Stephen King's terrifying novel. The trailer suggests a devout and appropriate faithfulness to the flick's source material. Let's have a look at the chilling details. The trailer opens with narration from Mike, who, unlike the rest of the now adult losers, stayed in Derry, Maine. Far the way, the hazier it all gets. But me, I never left. I remember all of it. Then there's a shot of the sewers, where a torrent of water rolls through a tunnel, ensnaring a young victim. This scene doesn't seem to be from the It novel. It instead looks like a nod to another film adaptation of a King classic, the 1980 Stanley Kubrick film The Shining. The famous trailer for that film uses a static shot from the movie of some unassuming elevator doors, but as the film's title and credits pop on screen, massive volumes of blood gushes out even as the doors stay closed. It's unlikely in the extreme that Muschietti would have included such a similar shot by coincidence. In King's novel, the number 7 is sort of a mythical totem that helps to empower the losers to take on a malevolent being from beyond time and space. When Mike calls the adult losers back to Derry, however, their chances against Pennywise are immediately dealt a blow by the fact that their number is reduced to 6. Stan Uris, the most logical of the bunch, remembers just a bit too much about that long ago summer upon receiving Mike's invitation. Just minutes after receiving Mike's call, Stan commits suicide. It's Chapter 2 will clearly carry over this plot point from the book. In every single one of the trailer's shots that features the entire Adult Losers Club, Stan isn't there. In one of the new trailer's most harrowing sequences, James McAvoy's Bill is seen pursuing a young boy through a carnival funhouse. He loses the youngster in the Hall of Mirrors, finally managing to catch up to him, but they're separated by thick glass. In a horrible echo of his brother George's fate in the opening of the first film, Pennywise materializes to menace the child as a helpless Billy frantically kicks at the glass. Funhouses are meant to be a little scary, sure, but those gently swaying pendulums would make any child in their right mind run screaming from the attraction. They bear more than a passing resemblance to Pennywise himself, and while some of them are smiling, others sport a look of wide-eyed, abject terror. It's a visual signifier that, as Bill enters the funhouse, he's entering the monster's domain. In a blink and you'll miss it moment, an unidentified man is dragged through the halls of what appears to be a mental institution. Oblivious to the staff member trying to place him into a chokehold, he's fixated with rapturous joy on a red balloon, Pennywise's calling card floating outside. As fans of the novel are well aware, this is no random patient. This is the adult Henry Bowers, who as a child terrorized the Losers Club and fell under the sway of Pennywise, causing him to kill his abusive father. That's right. And you will too, Henry. Make it a wonderful day. Kill him. In King's novel, Henry is committed to Juniper Hill Asylum for his crime, where he spends 27 years obsessing over his encounter with forces beyond his comprehension. When Pennywise returns, Bowers escapes, with an assist from the shape-shifting entity, and tries to kill the losers. When the losers reconvene in the book, they decide to split up to individually explore old haunts. Of course, Pennywise takes this opportunity to taunt them all, assaulting them with reality-warping experiences that turn the most innocent of their formative memories on their heads. One of the most memorable of those sequences involves Richie Tozer, who pays a visit to the town's park with its hilariously tacky statue of Paul Bunyan. Richie's solo adventure is briefly depicted in the trailer, as he sees Pennywise gliding along with a bunch of balloons above that very statue. In the book, Henry Bowers' gang once chased him to that exact spot, where the Bunyan statue came to life, chasing him down with its tremendous axe. The statue morphs into a bizarre version of Pennywise and proceeds to warn him of his impending doom. Why, Rich? What are you afraid of? Clowns. In one shot near the trailer's end, Mike is in a crude tent, as the world appears to be shaking itself to pieces around him. He doesn't appear frightened, though. He seems almost joyous. This may actually be exactly what's happening in the shot, as it appears to be a depiction of a ritual the losers engaged in as children in the novel. This could be a weird kind of flashback, or the filmmakers may have chosen to move it to the present day. It involves a smoke hole, a construct built for a Native American ritual which Ben discovers and which is meant to bring enlightenment. Sitting in an enclosure while burning a dry, smoky fire, the losers all experience visions, one of which reveals that Pennywise came to Earth from another dimension millennia ago. Its impact, similar to that of a small asteroid, created the deep caverns and the dairy where Pennywise makes its home. The losers are finally able to kill it for good by engaging in the ritual of Chud, the details of which were revealed to Bill by Matarin. A turtle-shaped eternal force of light diametrically opposed to it. The losers must use their wit, knowledge, and love for each other to essentially will it into submission. In the novel, it's a battle that takes place purely in the psychic realm, where belief and purity of intention are capable of defeating even the most malevolent forces. 
In the trailer, the surviving losers certainly seem to be about to engage in some sort of ritual. Screenwriter Gary Dorberman has said that a form of the ritual of Churd will be featured in IT Chapter 2, describing his writing of the sequence as trying to find the most focused, accessible way into some of the more metaphysical aspects of that book. It'll be interesting to see how he and Muschietti tackled one of the most abstract climaxes in all of horror literature, but they have our confidence and Kings as well. In a tweet, the author said simply, Looking forward to IT Chapter 2? You should be. I've seen it and it's terrific. We'll know if we agree when the flick hits screens September 6th. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about IT Chapter 2 are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.